All right, hello math teachers out there. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video. I know uh, 2020 right now with the coronavirus going on, uh, I know it can be tough teaching from home. So I wanna show you some tools, just some quick, simple ones that are very, very useful that might make your job a little bit easier. So the first one is using this program called Microsoft OneNote here. Now, the nice thing about OneNote is it allows you to just kind of write all over the screen. Another nice thing, is that it allows you to pull in questions from PDFs very, very simply. So for example here, let's say I have, uh, here's one of my own PDFs that I created. And let's say I just wanted to pull in this first question. I could just simply use a screen clipping tool to pull this over to my notebook here. And now it's in my notebook and I can zoom in, um, whatever I need to do on this. And I could say, okay, well, here's my problem. And I could show my students how we cross multiply by just doing one times x, which is x equals 36 times six and so forth. But the nice thing is you can write all over the screen and it is in your own handwriting. If you're using a simple device like a, a Microsoft Surface Pro, which I'm using the Microsoft Surface Pro six. If you're looking for a cheaper option, um, the Microsoft Go is a little bit smaller, but it'll allow you the same features as this Microsoft Surface Pro six will right here. Um, another few good things about this is you can create different tabs for different ones of your classes, and you can also add pages to each one. So if I want to go ahead and let's say just, let's go and graph this. So say I wanted to graph something here. I could simply pull up graphing paper, and now it can very easily just, you know, draw a grid and graph things, yada, yada, yada for this. So that's pretty nice. If I want to take some notes, I could just create a new page here, and I want to keep it organized. I can also put in some ruled lines here, okay, and write across the ruled lines and keep it a little bit more organized for the student. Nice thing about this too is you can go ahead and save anything you use in OneNote as a PDF and email it out to students. So if students are having trouble or you just want them to have a copy of the notes, you can do that as well. Okay, some other programs which you might find very useful. Um, the first one here is this Wabbit Emu. Okay, and all it is is it's a virtual calculator using TI-84 here, which I think is the most commonly used calculator amongst students right now in uh, middle and high school. So you can show them how to do anything. You can type all over this. So if I want to bring up a fraction, I could show them. You hit alpha, y equals enter, and you can just type in a fraction. Or I can just say we're doing a lesson on trig. I can show them, okay, if you type in the cosine of 60, you're going to get a half here. Okay, and so forth. So you can go on and on. Very simple. But what's nice about this is your students will be able to see what you're doing on the calculator so they can emulate it themselves or imitate it themselves um, back home. All right, so that's a good program. And the last one I want to show you just very quickly, very simple here, uh, Fluid Math. This is a great app, um, especially for graphing things. If you want to show students and do things very quickly and kind of demonstrate shifts or transformations, especially in uh, geometry. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to graph the line y equals mx plus b. I can go ahead and just drag this over and it automatically graphs this. And the nice thing about this is actually I'm going to move this. Let me put it down here just so I can move this a little bit is you can actually create these things called sliders. So if I want to change that M value, I could say, okay, let's let M equal one here. And then I'm going to change that by dragging this down. So it becomes a slider. And now I can adjust this. So as I affect my M value here, you could see what happens to that line. And the students will see that happen on their screen so they can get an idea of, oh, if the M value is four, that's more steep than when it was at an M value of one. You can do the same thing with B here. Okay, so let me just reset this. And let's start out B is zero. Okay, I can then go ahead and turn this into a slider as well. Uh, let me pull that down. So now what happens as you affect the B value? Well, as B increases, you can see it goes up. As B decreases, you can see that that goes down. Okay, so it's a nice way to kind of just show your students what's going on this with this. It also allows you to graph really fast in class, so you don't have to spend so much time actually graphing it, and you can move through your lessons a little bit uh, quicker here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put links down below to um, all these things, all these tools, all these apps that you will be able to download. Um, you know, OneNote, I believe you need a subscription for. Um, but if you have Microsoft 365 already, you might already have OneNote. So just check that out because it's a great tool for writing. And if you guys do have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I will try my best to get to them and uh, help all you other math teachers out there. I know some of you are using other tools like uh, Drawboard. If you're doing live lessons, you might be doing it over Zoom, which is a great program. Uh, if you need help with that, I'll be glad. Or if you want to see a video with that too, let me know. I'll create a video for it. 
Um, and hopefully these are just some small tools that will be able to help you teach through the 2020 pandemic that we got going on here. All right, guys, have a good one and good luck teaching out there.